Hey y'all and welcome back to Southern Sess. On today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make granola. This granola is really good and it is a very good alternative for fruitcake. This recipe comes from a um, family friend of mine, so let's get the show on the road. Okay, so you're going to need one and two third cups of rolled oats, half a cup of sugar, one third cup of oat flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, two cups of cranberries, a half a cup of pumpkin seeds, and one third cup of chia seeds, third of a cup of sun butter, teaspoon of vanilla, six tablespoons of melted butter, cup and two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of water, and you're going to want to preheat your oven to 365. Going to need an 8 by 8 by 2 inch pan, and you're going to want to line it with parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, it's okay. Just line it with tin foil. You're going to want to take all of your dry ingredients, including your fruit, and mix them together in one bowl. So many years inside this frustration It's time that me, myself, and I have a conversation I'm losing patience, living life with all these limitations There's a big old world outside my mind space But it seems that every single time I take a step in the right direction Another daunting obstacle seems to redirect my attention And all of a sudden the wonderful feeling In a separate bowl, you're going to want to whisk together the vanilla, melted butter, and water Seems like every. You're going to want to put your butter in a bowl and melt it for 20 to 25 seconds. You're going to want to combine your wet and dry ingredients and then you want to add your honey and sun butter. Then you want to stir together all of your ingredients until they are evenly crumbly. you are done mixing your ingredients together, then you just want to place it in your pan. And for this, I got a little dirty. And it's okay to get a little dirty. Just make sure your hands are really, really clean. So you want to put your mix in the pan for 30 to 40 minutes. I suggest 40 minutes. Get out of the oven. You want to let it, you want to let it cool for 30 minutes. After it's cold, you want to cut it in your desired shapes or however you want. I just did squares, and then you can just take it out however you want, and I put mine on a really cute plate. And yeah, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!